while, but late one night, when my eyes beheld an eerie sight, for my monster from his slab began to rise, and suddenly, to my surprise, he did the match. He did the monster match. The monster match. Hello again, everybody. It's Mark here again from GrimTreeGames.com, online game store and blog. And today we're going to do a game overview of Grave Business. <laughs> Zombies. Zombie management. Um, zombie bidding management. You'll see. It's, it's quite awesome. So, um, we'll do an overview of the game, go through a turn, show you how the bits move, and um, it'll be quite good. So let's have a look. Okay, so let's take a look at the board and see what's going on. So, we've got all the various bits that make up the playing surface. We've got the graveyard that you go digging in for body bits and for treasure. <clears throat> You've got all the player cards are in the side depicting all the various nasty people you can be. Um, on the player card, you've got gravestones ready for zombies you can resurrect and also you've got three little piles here already these have got little names on I don't know if you can see so they're sort of pre pre-built zombies for you and you, everybody's got three of them to start off with um i'll show you those little piles later so you know what's going on you've also got zombies ready to rock and roll once you've built them um that are going to be these gravestones but we'll get to that later it's not a problem um, let's have a look see what else we've got. So yeah, we've got all the play, uh, play, player mats. Have you noticed as well, each player has the same pre-built zombies of the same level. Um, we've got an attack card here that we'll go get into. We've got a starting player token. The rule book says the last person who went to a haunted house is the first player. So, um... Him, he can, for now. Um, and then also off to the side here we've got a, a large pile of graveyard tokens. So, to begin with, we populate the graveyard. So, um, these in theory have all been shuffled. We take 16 tokens and we place them all out. Now, there'll be a few different types of token. There's treasure token, your goodies on. Um, zombie parts, there's a zombie bit on and a number. Um, there's also equipment, which I'll show you in a second, because we might not have one pulled. Okay, there we are, let's go. So equipment looks like this, it's the same kind of a deal. So they'd be shuffled to put random and put put onto that board, and there's also parts of the master. Very important pieces. Now, I've pulled these out especially so you can see them. So obviously, they they would usually be shuffled into that into that deck. So now then, the object of the game is to build zombies, then send you zombies digging and fighting other zombies so that you can grab as much loot as you can from the board and at the end the person with the most loot wins with the most goodies in their vault So, um, so the object of the game is to um, build zombies using the body bits that you dig up, then use those zombies that you've built to dig up more stuff, to dig up, to dig up loot, um, and hopefully, if you're lucky, dig up these bits. So. Once you've gone through all of these tokens and they've all been used 
um, and dug through, that, that triggers the end of the game. If, if, if somebody has the complete set of three of these, then they win. If not, they will add up how, many, how much treasure they've got and add up all the numbers on how many corpse bits are in their, in their um, lab. And then they're the winner. Okay? So, let's take you to a turn. So the first thing we do is we put the bits out which we've done. We've reset the graveyard. So the second thing we do, starting with the first player, is we place our zombies. So we're, we start off with three zombies apiece. Okay, now on the back or the brain side, as we'll call it from here on in, there's a number of brains for each zombie. Now, the more brains they have, the better, the more influence they have, and the more chance they have of digging things up. Um, bones are good also, okay, so some are better than others. When we place them, we're going to place them face down so nobody knows how good our zombies are, what our brains are. So, there's lots of places we can pla um, place them. Okay, um, on any of the dig rows. And if I place it on a dig row, when we get to the, 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 the point where we're actually doing the digging, I will dig everything in that row, in theory. So I get all those tokens. Um, I can put it on steel, so I can steal, no, not on mine, that's stupid. I can put it on steel on somebody else's vault or lab, if they have goodies in there. So vault is where you put the treasure, lab is where you put your body bits, and I can try and go there and steal them. Um, I can attack, if you put it there, you, what you, essentially what an attack does, and we'll get to it in a minute, is you can pull somebody off a square that you want to be on, because only one zombie can be on one square at any time, okay? Um, or you can go for the start player, put it on the start player token. Um, also, when you do that, when you put it on the start player token, as an added bonus, you can check out somebody else's already placed zombie, flip it over and check what their brains are. Because the brains are important, so we'll get to that anyway. So we'll do it as an example. We'll go around, and I uh, so there's loads of body bits there. That'd be awesome. I'll go there with that guy. Um, I'll just throw some down for speed rather than um, go through it and be here for ages. So there's lots of digging going on. Oh, there's no point in stealing because there's, there's nothing to steal. Um, let's have a look. See, put her there. Back to me. Now then, you can dig a row, but you can also, if there's something specifically that you want on a square, you can put yourself on a square, and you'll be worth you, as many brains as you have under there, plus one. That, that'll make sense in a minute. It probably just sounded like gobbledygook, but it will make sense, I promise you. So, whoa, look at that. Pearl necklace, worth seven. <laughs> so, um, I will put him on there, because I really want that. Um, and and we'll, we'll keep on going around. Oh, no. I'll just put them all, put them all on, so you can see what happens. Um, I tell you what, I'm going to go for the start player because I still want to be a start player. Ooh. Um, and again, if we're playing this properly, I'd be looking at the brains and, and sort of thinking, if I want something, if I want to have a, a, a big chance of getting what's on that board, I'd be playing the higher brains first in theory. So now then. What this guy's going to do, as an example to show you, is I'm going to fight because I want what he's got there. So I'm going to attack him. So to attack him, I put um, my little man on the attack. This is, this is just somewhere to put it so that it says attack and it's an action that you can do. It makes it a bit more sensible for you. Um, so I'm going to put him there and I'm going to say I'm going to attack that zombie there. So what we do is... We flip the zombies over so we can see who they are. So this guy's called Pascal. And we flip this guy over. And he's called, or she's called, Tatiana. Looks like a he. But you, you know. You know what I mean. Um, and then what we do is I am going to... So I'm attacking that zombie to try and get it off that square. And attacking is super simple. We just find out which zombie it is and then we look at this, the pile. Now these little pile of tokens is essentially, it's health, I guess, in a way. Um, and what we do is we take the top one off, and if I damage it, I win, and I pull him off the square. So, damage is a body part. Brilliant. Damaged him. He comes off the square, goes over to here, to show that he's been pulled off. And now, I can't do it yet, but my next turn, 
I've got nobody left actually, to be fair. Maybe I should have attacked sooner. Um, but I pulled him off so now other people can go on that square. So that's how the attacking element works. However, let's say that I didn't pull that because all, all the zombie bits are pretty much the same. They are just bits of zombies with numbers on, numbers signifying damage. But this one, this one is, is important because this one is zombie fights back and essentially what happens is say, say, say I'd have pulled that first so say I pull that, zombie fights back what it means is I don't move yet because I now am doing damage to him oh no, so Pascal we turn over Pascal's and that's damage so essentially I have, I have ended up damaged and nothing's happened unless of course I would have pulled Zombie fights back! And then if I'd have done that, then we'd have pulled another one here. Mm, and so on and so on. The idea is though, if, if the person on the square is the last one to take damage, you take them off. Um, if you've accumulated loads of damage during this, this part, don't worry, you don't fall to pieces yet, but you might do soon. So, We've placed all of our zombies. If you've noticed, the attacking happens during the placement phase as well because you're pulling them off and then putting them back on again. So, that, let, let's say we've done all of that now. Let's put the rest of the zombies on. Is that everybody? That's everybody. Okay, right, so we've, we've got to start a player. We've done some attacking um, and we've placed the rest of the graveyard. So now what we do is we resolve what everybody's doing. In theory, we'd resolve the, dig, uh, the stealing first, but there's no stealing going on, so we'll skip that for now. Then we resolve the dig. So what we do is, we go around, well first of all, we flip all the zombies over, carefully, maybe, if you've got a table as shiny as mine, you might want some blue tack under the board, stop it from spinning. Mm -hmm. Is that everybody? That's everybody. Now, you'll have noticed that at this point, it is quite handy to see who's got what brain once you've flipped it over. So attacking is a good way, because you, you flip it anyway to attack. But also, like I say, I didn't do it, but starting player, every time you try and grab this token and land on it to become star player you also get to look at the value of any single zombie token so it can be quite handy when you're planning what you want to do so we're going to work out who's digging at what um, so we'll, 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 we'll go around and you've got to have an eye all the time as to who's where because it can get a little bit confusing but it's okay once you get used to it so um, we'll start with this zombie and he's digging this entire row so we'll go around and see what they can get so the first one two brains influencing that dig there so they have a piece of that because they're digging the row and this one is digging the row as well so we see who has the highest brains two, two, two so if all the brains are the same you then look at the bones one, one, one all the bones are the same if it's still a tie you go for the first player now, blue is first player, so blue will get it, goes to blue, in the lab. So next one along in this row, um, these are tying, I think, there's nobody here, blue's first player, in the lab. Next one, we've got this one and this one again, but green player, They've got three brains and two brains, and they add up on that row. So they super get that one. Whoop, in the lab. Last one, I think Blue's clinched it again. Yep, yep, so that goes there. So then we, we do the same, we go all the way around. Next row, um, we've got. Uh, we'll, no, we'll, we'll do. We'll go around this side here. So three brains. Um, two brains, so purple wins. Purple. Um, oh, no, I see, we forgot this guy here, but we've still got more brains than him anyway. So, next one along, purple. Next one along, three brains versus five brains. So, give it to him. 
Um, well, actually, there was more than five brains. It was seven brains because we've got this guy here. Um, and then this one will go to him as well. Next one, uh, four brains on that. That goes there. Um, next one, nobody's comp oh yeah, no, nobody's, nobody's competing because remember this guy here is just digging that space. Uh, nothing else. Um, I know we had a fight previously, but we're going to say that he won. <laughs> just, just, for, just for the sake of an example. So two brains against five brains because they're influencing that row there. So that goes to the green. This guy is all over it. So now two brains. He's got two brains, but if you're on the square, it's essentially you get an, an extra brain. So this goes to blue. He would have won the tie anyway, I guess, because he's the first player. But anyway, so we keep going right now, and we've come to this row, because everything, everything, everything else has been resolved. Um, nobody there, so that goes to there. Um, so three against that, so I lose. Nobody on that row, so that goes to him. He has that row there, so that goes to him. So, okay, so there we go. We've done it. We've had our first turn. We've done some digging. At first, there's a lot of, you know, you've got to be careful that you just make sure you don't miss anybody out and go all the way around. But once you've done it, you've got some body boots. Body boots. Um, and treasure. Okay, so, now then. Um... Whoever grabbed the start player can move it or move it or keep it, so we'll keep it there. That makes sense. And then we manage our zombies. In the manage zombie phase, it's the last the last part of it once you've done all the actions. Essentially, if a zombie has got equal to or more than half of its value, because it on all the cards I'll show you. Just move these. A bit more closer. On all of the um, headstones, there's a number for each zombie. If you get um, equal to or more than half of that in damage during the fighting that you've done previously, as you're replacing your zombies, um, that zombie cops it. It's removed from the game. So, say for example, Tatiana's 11. And again, this is something to bear in mind when you're building your zombie, because... It, it's quicker to build a zombie if you have body bits with a lot lot on. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you about building zombies in a second. But um, when you're taking damage, lots of low numbers is good because it means you can flip lots of cards and not die. High numbers are not so good, obviously, because you take more damage. So if you've taken uh, in this part in this phase um, enough damage, you lose a zombie. All the bits go. Your little man goes. Tatiana, where are you, Tatiana? Sorry, that goes out of the game. You know longer have a zombie. You need to build more zombies. So the next thing you do is, if you have enough body bits in your lab that equal one of the zombies, so let's see, uh, equal to a more than, that is. Um, but again, you don't want to put too many more points in because it's wasted because they die if they get half of the printed damage on the card. It doesn't really matter what's on the deck. So with eight, I could get this one. So in my building zombie phase, I could place all those down, put them on the thing there, and bring that zombie into play. Now all the, all, all the zombies that you can build have better or worse brains. So obviously you want to build... The more the, the, the more expensive it is, the, the more brains have and the better it is. Um, so that would have built me this guy. Is it him? Yeah, this guy. So I could I could next turn I could then place him to do my bidding. <laughs> but like I was saying, when you build a zombie, if you build it with lots of big numbers, then it's not going to last as long because you when, when you take damage, you're flipping those, and that's adding up quite a lot. If you can build. With smaller numbers, you get more flips, but it takes longer to build because you need more cards. Oh, hokey cokey. And so, on the next phase, I know I've, I've, I'm messing this up quite a bit for the sake of an example, um, but so at the end as well, you, you pull all these zombies back. 
Turn the lid off with his own base. Back to place again. And anybody with a good memory, sorry, I'm looking the camera. Anybody with a good memory will will remember um, um, what zombie, what how many brains do the people have sort of before they reveal them. So they might have a guess as to as to as to where the influence is being dished out. Okay. That zombie was still alive, but anyway, get the, get the picture. So, the next round is the same thing again, really. We fill the graveyard up. You do this every turn. And again, let's see, zombie, zombie bites back. Zombie fights back, even. Um, so, if you, if you take that and you um, build a zombie with it, you want that. That's a, that's a good thing to have. If you're building a zombie, it's a good amount of defence. Now, blank ones, I'm assuming that's part of the game and not just spares. Maybe I should find out. Not a bad idea. Um, another thing you can do in the managing zombies phase is if you have gained an equipment card when you've been digging, at the, the last phase, you can put it face down on top of one of your zombies. So the next time, oh, I'll do that. The next time they're attacked and you have to flip a card, you flip the equipment card and you do whatever it says on it. So this is immediately dig up and take one tile. So if somebody attacks you, you do that. Bonus. Um, yeah, and because you're not damaged, you're not removed from the card. So equipment cards are good to have. It's good defence, and they've also got something funky on as well, usually, that lets you do something awesome. Um, so, yeah, reset the graveyard. We've done that. Okay. Um, place the zombies. So, again, we start placing zombies. But this time, there's merit to going on a steel space because other people have got goodies now. Other people have got body bits. Especially... If you have just dug up bits of the master, and then the bits of the master are available and out there, you want to get all three of them, so you can attempt to steal. But it's at random, unfortunately. So you know, we'd, we'd shake, we'd just shuffle them all up, and then you pull one. And I think that's about it in a nutshell. I hope I've not missed anything. If I have. The usual, I'll annotate at the bottom if I've got something wrong, because I've, I've been describing the rules to you. Um, but yeah, it's it's good fun. Um, essentially, fill the graveyard, place your zombies, more brains the better, um, resolve all the actions, steal stuff, put your brains to good use to dig things up on the, on, on the grid. Then whatever you've dug up, um, use it to build more zombies to do more digging. Can't go wrong. Okay, so that's about it. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was informative and useful for you. Um, this is available on our store now at www.grimtreegames.com. Come and have a look. Um, come and look at the forum. Um, we're on Twitter, we're on Facebook, so you can come and say hello in many different ways. Um, and that's about it. So bye bye for now. My arm.